Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of the Virgin Islands, weighing 153 pounds, with a professional record of 31 wins, one defeat, with 29 KOs, he is ranked number two in the world by the WBA. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Julian Jackson. And in the red corner, fighting out of South Korea, weighing 154 pounds. His professional record consists of 41 wins, one defeat, with 36 KOs. He is rated number one in the world by the WBA, introducing in Chul Beck. All right, the third man in the ring is referee Mills Lane, and he's a good one to get this thing underway. It's a 10-point must scoring system, meaning the winner of the round gets the 10 points, the loser the robot. Let's listen to Mills Lane. With the robot. You'll know when it's stuck, because the last thing he'll say is, okay, let's get it. Okay. You ready over here? All right, now look. Okay, you both had your instructions in the dressing room. I assume that everybody understands. Any questions over here? No. Any questions over here? Let's get it on. Come on. Here All we go. All right. He says, let's get it on. And you see the tail of the tape. Julian Jackson is an inch and three quarters taller. He's a pound lighter. He's a year older. And he has an inch advantage in reach. Again, since Mike McCallum moved up to the middleweight division, there's a vacant WBA World Junior middleweight title on the line here. So it's Beck and Jackson. Jackson, a colorful fighter from St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, a fellow we've seen on the Don King Sports and Entertainment Network several times before. The only loss on his record, 31 and one, the loss is to Mike McCallum for this championship. So it has eluded him thus far. He's a great fighter. When I asked him about his loss, he said, it was a learning experience for me, and I'm ready to fight for the title now. In true back on the other hand, the only loss in his career was to Sean Canyon. And that was his only other trip to the United States. That fight took place in Atlanta, Georgia. So he hasn't been successful in his previous trip to the United States. He's won all his other fights. But talking to Reno Tomasi, who has seen him fight, who does the Italian commentary for Italian television, Reno told me that he doesn't think this guy can fight at all. So let's see whether Julian Jackson can handle it and become the new WBA World Junior Middleweight Champion. Jackson's been with the good ones. He's the guy in the gold trunks with the red trim. He's defeated guys like Eddie Cosmo, Curtis Ramsey, J.J. Cottrell.
He gets banged right in the nose and he stands to get down and he's all set to grab on and he does get down. His hand touches and Mills Lane, again, a great uh, referee, does the job properly and scoring that as a knockdown. Here we go, round number two. This is scheduled for 12. Remember the WBA just changed the rule. It used to be 15 rounds for world title fights in the WBA, but at that recent convention in London, the championship committee decided to switch it to 12 rounds to get in line with the WBC. For safety purposes, they say. And I guess you ought to be able to tell who can win the fight by 12 rounds as well as 15 if it uh, can save the, the career and the length of time guys can keep on their careers by fighting for more fights. And the International Boxing Federation is the only sanctioning body now that has 15 round world title fights. And I would say they'll probably come in line 12 round title fights. So. throwing many more right hands than I've seen him in some of his other fights. He's taking the opportunity to lead with it every so often. See him there? It's almost like a jab. Back away he looks like a converted southpaw. Julian, a real good athlete. Let him swivel off that in the island. Wow, with the right hand that time. Just barely missing. When he gets his positioning down in another round or so, is going to have some trouble, I think, with Julian Jackson before it's all over. There's a gentleman here from the Korean consulate that uh, made a presentation to Beck before the fight. And of course, don't forget, coming up, everyone's You're swinging wild at the guy, Julian. You got to get back to using your left jab, okay? So, uh, give him some work. That's Put Aaron Snowell talking to him. Okay, Julian. Aaron, who's worked Don't with Timmy abandon your left nice jab, handler. okay? Come on, man. I got, it. Come on, I got it. Suck it up. You start with a Come nice on, job, a nice job, and then the Don't slug, Julian. Don't slug. All right. Don't get wild. Just take your time. All control, right? control. That's it. Left Real jab. Good left advice jab, right jab. Aaron jab, Snowell right hand around the body, left hook up top. Jab, straight right hand up top. Come back with your left foot, okay? All right. Keep, Watch keep this sliding slip, on him, all right? His foot just goes from underneath him there. Hands up. And he was a little bit more fortunate than Beck was in round number one, because Beck, uh, although Beck was nailed when he was down, so I suppose we can't call him fortunate. All right, this is round three. Again, schedule for 12 at stake, the WBA World Junior Middleweight Championship. A good first round for Junior. And there he nails Beck. Back at that left of his face, he 
He's trying to nail him one more good right hand. Don't give him a, a breather. There's a right hand again. Pike is ready to go. Julian moves in. Good right hand. This is not good. Another right. Put down. Go. He won't get up. I don't think he can. But it looks like he will. All of a sudden, it looks like he was out totally. And then he gets to his feet. Bill's laying pressure on him. He's there. trouble right here as you can see the legs are wobbly he's ducking underneath punches the mouth is open he's ready to fall here Watch the job with the right hand he maintained his patience and set him up for these shots look at that left hook it was the left hook that I thought he wouldn't get up from that another good shot bam watch it works to the body watch for the left hook Backing off, nails him with the right hand. There's the left hook. Right hand, and there's the left hook I was looking for. Whew. Now look at his eyes. I said he won't get up, and he did get up. He did get up from that one, but not this time. And Mills Lane goes in. Whew. What a great night for this kid.